In Uganda, this is how opposition presidential candidate Bobby Wine's street campaigning often starts. And this is how it ends. In violence and clouds of tear gas. <coughs> and that's why the pop star and politician, whose real name is Robert Chingulani, came to the Electoral Commission on Wednesday with a message. We have tasked them to take charge or resign. Wine has been on the road campaigning ahead of next month's election, in which he hopes to unseat Yaweri Museveni, one of Africa's longest ruling leaders. He accuses security forces of targeting his campaign, detaining, beating and killing his supporters. On Tuesday, Wine's friend and music producer, Daniel Oyerwat, known as Dan Magic, was reportedly hit in the face by a rubber bullet. Today they attacked us shot various people in the legs and producer Dan Magic, who was right next to me, had his face shattered and teeth removed. The police said supporters of Wine's National Unity Platform Party had attacked security personnel and disrupted traffic. They said three people, including Oyawat, had been injured by tear gas fragments as police and the military dispersed the crowds. According to Wine, his head of security was also injured. We've asked them to prevail over the police and the military, to tell them to keep out of this election, especially the military. President Museveni said 54 people were killed last month as police and the military quelled riots that erupted after Wine was arrested for alleged violation of lockdown rules. Many in Uganda now fear the violence will only escalate ahead of the January 14 poll. You cannot kill all of